G'day, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Audio Fractal Sound Design Series. Today, we're using Ableton 12. This tutorial features the process involved in creating the theme sound for this series. This following sound will be the final result. <laughs> the basis for this sound uses a bass whoosh effect sample that I made a while ago. Ableton's Echo device, which is similar to Bitwig's Delay Plus device, is the main tool we're going to use to fractalize this bass whoosh. They're similar because they are both delay effects. They both give you the option to add a reverb to the feedback signal. If you use another DAW other than Ableton or Bitwig, the delays from native instruments called Replica or Replica XT both have this feature when in diffusion mode. After I adjust some of the gain staging and balance of the wet-dry signals, we can move on to the fun part, where we will automate the timing of the echo or delay trails. This will begin to sound like an audio fractal, due to the pitch shifting effect. To get a smooth pitch shift when changing the left and right delay time values, make sure to switch it from tempo synchronized mode to time mode here. It's fun to experiment by moving the time value manually, but we will automate this later. Let's increase the feedback amount for longer echo trails. Now let's check out how it sounds when we add some reverb to the feedback signal. Lowering or increasing the stereo parameter will change the amount of the mid-side information in the effect. Lowering the mono signal by turning the knob to the right can be a useful way to make space for other mono elements in your mix, such as the kick, snare, hats, or anything else for that matter. Likewise, if you want to make room in your mix for some wide synths or stereo cymbals, you can turn the knob to the left to lower the level of the side or stereo signal. It's time to automate the time parameter. I also want to automate the wet dry parameter so that it moves from completely dry at the beginning to more wet afterwards. It's important to set the feedback parameter in just the right position so that the effect fades away at the right moment. I'm leaving the feedback set manually at 100% for now, but sometimes I might want to automate the feedback level too. Now it's just a matter of making fine adjustments to customize the timing of the automation of the dry wet signal and the feedback. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with how the echo effect is sounding now. Let's move on to the next stage of the sound design. I'll add Ableton's simple auto pan device to the end of the FX chain. It's obviously useful for panning effects, but I want to use it for a tremolo effect. By default, 
the autopan uses two built-in LFOs, which are modulating the level of the left and right channels with opposite timing. But by turning the phase knob to zero, there is no more phase offset. Therefore, both LFOs are in perfect sync, giving a tremolo effect instead. Another way to think of it is simple amplitude modulation. <laughs> Automating the rate or frequency of the tremolo effect will add another dimension to the audio fractal. It's a good idea to experiment with the amount parameter which gives you control over the depth of the volume change caused by the LFO. Considering we have the stereo feedback mode selected on the echo device, I'm curious if automating the stereo width might add another dimension to the effect. I want to concentrate on the automation lanes of the Echo device to make a few refinements. Now we're getting somewhere. I want to remind you that I'll be selecting the best variations of the audio fractal featured in this tutorial along with samples from the other tutorials in the Audio Fractal sound design series to make them available as a sample pack. It will be free and exclusively available to student patrons. So send me a private message if you are interested. <laughs> And there we have it, another audio fractal design tutorial. I hope you learned something, or at least got inspiration and motivation from this tutorial. More audio fractal techniques are coming soon. Be sure to check out the other fractal videos I have already posted too. Thanks for tuning in once again. The rest of the video will have no speaking. If you're interested, you can watch until the end and see a few more steps I took to refine the final outcome, including sending the tail of the effect to a reverb return channel to extend the sense of space and length. At the very end, I decided to include where I was experimenting with different Ableton effects too, but that I decided not to use in the end. Have a good one. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 